Academy project, Emergency Robots to the Rescue. Our group, Corbin Nielsen, Jonas Borjax, Jacob Hopkin, Bo Hansen, 6th grade West Haven Elementary. Robot name, Warhawk. Using robotic machines in emergency situations and increased efficiency of our law enforcement, FEMA, and other military services. The drones play an important role in developing and determining when impacted areas are safe again. This same technology can also be used to track forest fires and survey the aftermath of other natural disasters like earthquakes. We use drones to protect human lives and deliver, deliver supplies, first aid, diabetic, and other medications, and gas leaks. Prevention use drone surveillance. Drones, drones will increase our security. Drones can be used for bomb detection research. Rescue robots have advanced tremendously over the last several decades. So much that, in fact, that when rescue robot tail warrior Robin Murphy was recently asked which rescue robot problem she would most like to see disappear, her reply was, was surprisingly simple. The lack of awareness. Responders, she said, need to know more about the highly effective tech at their dis tools at their disposal. We interviewed Chief Master Sergeant Chris Hazard. He is in the Air Force. He works as a Superintendent Munition Sustainment Division Air Force Life Cycle Management Center. Unmanned ve wait, he helps fly bombs and low missiles. Drones do lots of fire for the Air Force. Unmanned vehicles take pictures, drop bombs so you don't worry about losing pilots. Drone flyers do a regular job and build up to flying drones. It takes extra schooling. We fly drones from Nevada Middle East and around the world are flown from Nevada through satellites. Global Hawk, Predator, Reconnaissance, they can now carry laser guided missile. Needed to expand program, more application. Go into danger and drop bombs. We need to use for search and rescue. Drop off supplies, remote areas. Right now, convoy, de convoy deliver one third is lost due to theft or bombs. Drones don't get tired and are smaller. Less decision making and people to make errors when using drones. Use satellite technology in the driver. Encrypted and special military communication. We have to change the technology all the time due to the risk of enemy taking over control. Stealing the code. Cost. Cost effective when we can mass produce them. Right now they are complicated so that they so they cost a lot. Many system parts, technology, and specialists. However, human lives trading a person and their costs. They will never fully replace a human in intelligence, no matter how cheap. Ground rules. Bomb detection takes things apart, but man is a bot, but not a person. The solution. 700 million people have died from mosquitoes thanks to not having medications to help cure the diseases that the mosquitoes are carrying. Drones will help bring supplies to help the people who, that have the diseases to help cure the diseases that the mosquitoes are giving them.